Hey, hello YouTube, and um, welcome along to another video. And I've got another pickups video for you. Uh, I've got another pile of games to um, show you. Um, but the team I'm going to find show you first, which is a great find, and it was actually free. Now, I was upstairs um, searching for an old PlayStation cable, it was from Easy Cup, um, and I came across this, which I bought way back in the day. Um, it's an unofficial guide. It's for Zelda 64, Ocarina of Time, um, and it's in really good condition. Now, I bought this back when the game came out, well, after the game came out, because I actually got stuck, and I had to go and get a guide, I think this was the cheapest at the time. It was 3 three ninety five. you know, it's one of those kind of magazine guides that, one of those um, magazines, obviously, but whatever one it was, but it's an official guide. But, um, I thought it was a great find, I mean, it's still in great condition, you can see there, it's no, you know, dog-eared or, um, so it's just, it's just a guy that takes you through, which is really nice, um, I never ever did finish the game, but, um, it was actually great to find that, I remember buying it, I just thought it was lost, um, along with my Nintendo 64 and all my games, for them. so, nice to find that, I've got another strategy guide, Brand new one here, Alan Week. Uh, I've got the game, I've not played it yet. I had um, £2 dodge on my Game Station card get it thing, and uh, I noticed this was down to four ninety eight, and with the money off, I got it for like £2.60. Still sealed, haven't opened it yet. Um, I don't know if you need it, you know, with the game, but um, you know, I just like getting the strategy guys anyway. Um, and if I ever, ever do get massively stuck at a point, which I do hate because it kind of ruins the game if you're stuck and you don't know, you know, you've tried everything, you kind of go on, you know, then these do come in handy. I know you've got the internet to search as well, but I do like having the strategy guides as part of my collection, so that was that one. Okay, on to the games. Uh, I've got a selection of PlayStation 1 games here. I'll show you the ones I've got for free. Um, No, actually not for car boot sale, I'm trying to remember, that was the last time I got from my father-in-law. Car boot sale first. Um, Mickey's Wild Adventure. Platinum edition, but that's okay. Um, gorgeous looking game it is. Comes complete, really good condition. Um, kind of be, you know, the kind of Mickey games and that, because they're always colourful and they're really nice platform style games. Um, I've got a couple of Tomb Raiders here. Yeah, I think that was 50 pence, that Mickey Mouse one. I've got Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3. Um, Tomb Raider 2 here. Platinum Edition again. Again, that's okay. Uh, it comes complete and it's got a manual and it's also got like a magazine type advertising thing. Um, now, I didn't think I had Tomb Raider 2, I thought I had Tomb Raider 1. Actually, I've got two copies of Tomb Raider 2 upstairs. I've got uh, a black label and I've got another platinum version. So, um, what I'm going to do is go through all my games. I've got a lot of doubles, maybe get a pile put together and either do a video. Like, I've seen a few trades video on YouTube, so I don't know if they kind of work. So, maybe I'll do that. I've got a lot of um, kind of doubles in that. So, maybe do a trades video um, and see what I've got. That's obviously three copies of that now I've got. Um, I haven't got this one, so this is nice. It's Tomb Raider 3. Again, it's platinum. It's got a big sticky mark at the top there. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe I can swap that out with another case. Um, again, it comes with um, these in mind. It comes with an advertising thing. Um, so that's that. Um, I noticed this one. This was from yes, it is. It's from Cash Generator. Forty nine pence. I just noticed it. It's Breath of Fire three. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not into role playing games, I know this is a role playing game, I saw it, I thought, you know, these role playing games sometimes are, um, are kind of limited and they go for quite a lot of money because, you know, people are big fans of these. I checked on eBay and, you know, it does go for a wee bit of money, I mean, I think one of them sold for like about a tenner. Um, this isn't in great condition though, you know that picked up there, it's been kind of water damaged and the uh, manual is there but it's kind of, you know, it goes that kind of hard crinkly, I mean it does open up and that, but nice to have and it looks like a, a traditional role-playing game on the back here. Um, I had a look on YouTube and it 
That would be really, really good. Last PlayStation 2 game, I picked this up at a car boot sale, 50 pence, Stuart Little 2. I got it for my uh, my kids. They've got the movies. I was with my son at the time, and um, I've got the movies. They like the movies, so I picked this up so they could play it once I've got all my stuff set up. Uh, Platinum Edition comes with a manual stuff. I'm sure they'll like that. Um, there, there, there. Right, okay, this is Cars United 2, Activision Anthology. Um, 45 games, and it's from the Atari 2600. So you've got all the classics there, you know, uh, Pitfall and River Raid, which I remember back then. Um, you know, it's all there, Ice Hockey, Checkers, Enduro, which I remember as well. Um, so that's nice to have, not opened it up yet and it comes complete with the manual, 99 pence. Picked this one up, I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan, but when I saw the game, I know they go for quite a lot of money on eBay. Uh, not that I'm buying to sell on eBay, um, but it's Final Fantasy X2, I believe that's how you say it. Or I don't know if the X is meant to stand for 10, but then that would really make sense with it. So X2, Final Fantasy X2, uh, comes complete. Uh, 19 pence again, and I believe it's like a kind of off story involving the, uh, the female characters. Um, you know, I should maybe try these Final Fantasy games because I think once you get into them, I, I struggle with them. I struggle, I don't know what you're meant to do with them, especially when it comes to fighting and all the options. But I'm sure if I, if I learn how to do that, you know, I could get into them. But 19 pence, anyway, so I thought, up. Right, okay, another. In addition to my uh, Rockstar collection, good proper version this time, it's Surfing H3O done by Rockstar. Um, you know, I bought this before, but um, when I got the game, the, this cover here, which is inside here, was kind of printed off somebody's home computer. The, the game inside was real and the manual was real, but I never added it to my collection. Um, so I bought this from uh, Playtrade, 133 delivered. Which is super because that's a lot cheaper than what eBay are wanting for this game. Um, so that's really nice. I've only got a few more to add to my Rockstar collection. And it's kind of some, well, a few more of the kind of obscure ones which maybe you wouldn't think that Rockstar done um, for the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. But we'll get uh, Xbox game now. It's a classic, so on the, um, classic series and it's Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, got this for the card boots at the weekend, 50 pence. Comes complete. And, um, you know, you can't beat Simpsons. Okay, brand new game here. We want this for a wee while because I've heard about it off somebody's um, channel, YouTube, way, way, way back. And it kind of sunk under the radar. And it's Mercer Men in the Spores War for the Wii. Uh, I don't know if you can see the price on that. This is from HMV. £6, brand new, so I thought, yeah, I'm picking up. Usually it goes, you see if we've got a tenner, it's going to be owned this game. Um, obviously it's complete because it's brand new. Um, looks a good 3D platform type game, eh? Which obviously you play a kind of mushroom character. Um, you know, but it's a kind of traditional 3D platform type game. So that was good, I like the kind of games. So there's a few games here. Which I don't pick up a lot, but... Um, I picked this one up and I know it's a classic and it's uh, Beautiful Beautiful Joe. Or beautiful Joe. Is that how you say it? You can see who it is. This cost me £2 for the car boot sale. The disc is in my GameCube at the moment, as we speak, but it's come to manual. Um, really, really nice game, really nice graphics. I've been playing it yesterday and it's um, a side scrolling beat em up. Um, no, I can I beat it? That's what you call it. I beat him up. Um, really, really nice though. Really, really nice uh, graphics. Last two GameCube games, I picked these up from Blockbusters. I went in the other day just to check. They've got some deals on. Um, 95 pence they were. Both of them don't come with miners. I knew that because I checked them. But for 95 pence, I thought I'd pick them up. This is Star Fox Adventures. Star Fox Adventures. Again, I've already got this, but when I saw it for 95 pence, I thought of picking it up. Whether I use it for trading or whatever later on. 
Um, it doesn't come with the manual, it comes with a star scratchy off thing for the Club Nintendo. Um, the last GameCube game here is a Big Ear Freestyle. And this is a really nice game. And I've been playing with this yesterday as well, and I've done some recording with Easy Cap, and it turns out really, really nice. Um, again, it doesn't come with a manual. I knew that though. But for that, five pence. There's not a lot of um, also comes on a demo on it for Godzilla. Um, there's not a lot of footage on this on YouTube. I went up there's only a couple of videos up. And a couple of videos that are up and then all the comments saying this is their favourite game way back in the day. And it is really nice. Arcadey, you know, because you can do these kind of stunts, you know, kind of unrealistic kind of type stunts. Um, no, MB Jam type unrealistic. Um, but it's really, really nice to play. Um, and I might stick up my video of this just because there's not a lot of um, footage up there. Okay, so there's my big pile of games, my wee pickups. Um, and thanks for watching guys and um, catch you next time. Cheers.